Certificate of Retirement presented to Military Working Dog Dino Papa 068. On the occasion of your retirement, your loyalty and tireless dedication to duty left a great impact on all your fellow Marines. Your presence will be missed, but your name will never be forgotten. You have earned the Corps' grateful appreciation for your unselfish, faithful, and devoted service. Given under my hand this 7th day of June 2014, effective immediately, you are hereby discharged from active duty and ordered to report to the Diaz family to be placed under their love and care. Uh, this is our son. This was given to us by uh, some of the 3rd MEF uh, when our son passed away. And uh, it's basically, you know, saying it's our son and uh, the day that uh, that he passed away on us. And that, I'm going to so I ask silly Oh, no, no problem, no, 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 no problem. Sorry. Will having Dino... You know what, having you know, um, you know, we've had an opportunity to first meet him in Clovis, New Mexico. The Thunderbirds honored our son out in Clovis, New Mexico last weekend. That was the first time first we came. Time. First time. This was our first contact. And again, though, it's a silly question. Rude question. Um, no, sir. Will having Dino decrease the... Yeah. I, I think I hear what you're saying. I don't, I don't think it'll, it'll um, decrease any of the pain. As a matter of fact, my wife and I drove here yesterday, and we talked about that. And we, we know that um, it's not he's not going to replace Christopher. No. Uh, but what he will do is is um, give us a little bit of what Christopher loved, and that was that was the Marine Corps, that was Dino, um, and that's that's just half of that link that's missing. And we do understand that we you know he's not going to replace him, but we're going to give him the love that we would anybody else, you know, our kids and grandkids and things like that. And, um, we're anxious for this. We're, yeah, we, we really are. And I'm pretty seeing, you know, not only with us, you know, it, 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 it's a healing process for our son, for Christopher's children. You know, we've got a seven, I'm sorry, an eight, nine-year-old son and daughter. So that's going to help them. It's going to help our families um, because it was such a uh, shock that, you know, you're, you see your, your child there and then he's not there. Um, but this is going to help everybody, not only us, but everybody, you know, his, his fellow comrades, his, uh, our family, his extended friends, extended family. So uh, it's, it's helpful because somebody, we've got something to hold on to. Staff Sergeant Diaz was never assigned to our battalion per se, but his presence can be seen and felt nonetheless through those that were fortunate to have served and to have been mentored by him. In what circumstance and how special is it but one of those very Marines, Sergeant Overland, to be the one to eventually care for Dino when he came to us. For many of us, we have come to know Staff Sergeant Diaz through his family, fellow Marines, and friends. His character, service, and sacrifice resonates through us all and restores our faith and commitment to the values we hold dear, honor, courage, and honor. In May of 2011, Staff Sergeant Diaz and Dino deployed to Afghanistan. Their efforts and service saved countless lives, protecting fellow Marines and service members from the explosive threats. In December of 2011, Dino returned to 29 Palms alone. He is fond of bear hugs, muzzle thumps, and belly rubs, and often succumbs to random, unexplainable bursts of energy and affection. He is incessantly loyal and will remain by your side always. Dino, we thank you for your service and wish you fair winds and following seas as you begin your new life with the Diaz family. May you love and protect them just as you and Staff Sergeant Diaz did for so many of our younger Marines. Semper Fox.